فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Today we have our children, mashallah, if a child can't sleep, give him the phone, give her the little phone, iPad, whatever else, and you can listen to your movies and watch Donald Duck and watch Mickey Mouse. In fact, they don't even know who Donald Duck is. I asked a kid a few days ago, Donald Duck? He says, what's that? What's that? I, I, when, when I was little, Donald Duck used to feature quite strongly, you know. Today, only Allah knows what's going on. Allahu Akbar. They have Ben 10, I think. Or 10 Ben, subhanAllah. And they have angry birds. And I, I'm always surprised. Why are the birds angry? Why couldn't they just have had happy birds? <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Happy birds. Wallahi. And, I, and the beauty is, subhanAllah, they have Tom and Jerry. And I love to talk about these two because they're still going on. Do you know why they're going on? Have you ever seen Tom and Jerry really get along and one comes with tea to the other and one greets the other and they're sitting and doing something? No. They are fighting. One is, he spends his whole existence trying to do the other one down. And that's exactly what our, our children have learned. And when we grow up as adults, 30, 40, we are doing the same with everyone else. We, it's a competition. What you have, no ways. I'm not talking to you. You've got more than me. No, I will make sure you come down. And this is what's going on. We are Toms and Jerry's. May Allah forgive us. A'udhu Billah. It happens. We need to change this life of ours and we need to make sure we understand. That little phone that we've given the children, Wallahi, today, there is an alternative to those cartoons where you have Islamized, where you have Islamized programs. And we may be able to use this. You know, subhanAllah, someone was telling me, why are you encouraging people? Wallahi, you need an alternative. You need an alternative. If you do not provide a suitable alternative to your children, they will never ever want to shift from doing something to cutting it completely when they know that this technology still has to be used. So you guide them to say, listen, the phone you can still use, or should I say, the iPad or whatever other technology you have, but let's channel it into the right direction. Let's make sure we use it correctly. So you will use this and this and this, and you will stay away from X, Y, and Z. But the problem is when mom and dad themselves tell the children, don't watch this type of movie, don't watch that type of movie, and the kid says, no problem, dad. And then the kid goes to the, the, the room of the mom later on or the dad and, and opens the door to say, mom, I need a bit of water. And what's, what are they watching? The same movie they told me not to watch. Oh, no. <laughs> Hypocrisy. Look at this. This is what happens to us. Wallahi. So this is why we say the Quran is such a powerful gift of Allah. It is the ultimate gift that Allah has blessed us with. It is the miracle of this age. Subhanallah. It is something that is living with us. It is the most powerful ever. You take a look at those. And you know with the with technology, Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for technology because with technology, we have been able to see little children and adults from across the globe make an effort towards the Quran, which embarrasses us. We've done nothing. I've seen a young man from Egypt, subhanAllah, he memorizes the Quran in such a way that you just have to bring a little word and he'll recite any word you want and he'll tell you exactly how many places the word is in and where it is, what's the page number, what's the line number, what's the verse number. No other book ever in existence can that ever happen to. Not a single soul has done that to a book with so many pages and, and so big. Subhanallah. It's a miracle. It's Allah. Our children memorize the Quran at a young age. Wallahi, you write 500 pages with your own hands and you won't be able to memorize what you've written yourself. Never. This is the Quran. But where are we? What effort do I make? Wallahi, those people have prepared for their paradise. What about me? I need to prepare for mine. May Allah grant us a gift. Really? My brothers and sisters, it's about time we did something. There is no point in believing that, okay, the Quran is, mashallah, the word of Allah, excellent. But my life is far away from what the Quran teaches. What's the point? People say, you know what? Really, mashallah, lovely recitation. Oh, that sheikh, have you heard this guy? And we've got all the recitations in our, our car. And that's where it stops. No, the hadith speaks about those who will come out of the deen known as al-khawarij. What does it say? It says, yaqra'oon al-Quran. They will be reading the Quran. Yaqooluna min qawli khayri al-anam. They will be saying statements, powerful statements. La yujawizu dhalika taraqihim. Doesn't go down their throats. Why? Hypocrisy. You can say beautiful words. May Allah safeguard myself and yourselves. Wallahi, this is why I always like to say, whatever I've said, Wallahi, the advice is for me firstly and then for everyone else.
May Allah make it easy for me to adopt the goodness and make it easy for us all.